हाई स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू माई नेक्स्ट सेशन वीडियो टू ऑन इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक्स चैप्टर वन इलेक्ट्रिक चार्ज एंड फील्ड आई एम रवि कुमार फैकल्टी फिजिक्स आलफा पी यू कॉलेज के आर नगर मैसूर स्टूडेंट्स इन द लास्ट वीडियो यू लर्न अबाउट इलेक्ट्रिक चार्ज इलेक्ट्रिफिकेशन एंड सम ऑफ द इम्पोर्टेंट प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक चार्ज वॉट्स इलेक्ट्रिफिकेशन the word electrification what did we learn in the last class i showed you through simple experiments when you rubbed object like plastic with fur it attracted light materials that property you called electrification and that property acquired by the material you called charge how many types of charges are there there are two types positive and negative positive negative together called unlike charges unlike and positive positive negative negative you called like charges like charges an important property unlike charges attract attract and like charges repel like charges repel right and you learn some more properties of charge number 1 under that charging process is additive additive additivity of charge second one charge is conserved the process of charging is conserved and the third one the process of charging is quantized quantized what is additivity charge is like a number when charges of different bodies put together they add like numbers what is conservation in conservation property when charge is produced on a body charge on one body is not produced charges produced on two different bodies they are equal in number opposite in nature that's the meaning of law of conservation and quantization when charging takes place charges are transferred from one body to another the process of transfer is in integral multiple of a fundamental value that is denoted by e the value of e is 1.6 10 power minus 19 coulomb coulomb si unit of charge if i denote the symbol of charge by value q q charge in a body that's equal to n e where n an integer that is plus or minus 1 plus or minus 2 plus or minus 3 etc including 0 0 implies no charge net charge zero plus 1 minus 1 what is the meaning of plus 1 minus 1 we will see now the meaning of that is say for example if you buy a pen from a market you buy one pen whole one pen or two pens three pens four pens five pens you don't buy one and a half two and a half right like that during charging charge takes place or transfer of charge takes place in terms of integral multiple of fundamental value that fundamental value is 1.16 power minus 19 that's the idea right now we'll see the meaning of plus minus and overall idea why the electrification takes place in substances let's see now today cause or reason for electrification students you have learnt in your high school that every matter made up of molecules of course there are atomic substances generally matter made up of molecules molecules made up of atoms molecules made up of atoms these atoms composed of three fundamental particles proton proton neutron neutron and the third particle electron you know this very familiar here the proton is positively charged neutron is neutral no charge neutral particle electron is negatively charged you know 
protons and neutrons are inside a very small volumin atom that you call nucleus that you call nucleus whereas the electrons revolve around the nucleus in different orbits chemistry orbitals different orbits and distribution of electrons in the atom for different elements you learnt in chemistry class as electronic configuration for example you consider sodium very familiar metal one of the metals it is a story with all metals what i am explaining you this is called atomic number atomic mass let's take atomic number what does this atomic number imply what is the meaning of atomic number atomic number implies what atomic number implies there are 11 protons and 11 electrons they want to electrons by small e like basic charge now protons are positively charged each having value plus e plus e how many protons are there 11 into 11 that's equal to plus 11 e similarly how many electrons 11 therefore charge of each electron is minus e into 11 that's equal to minus 11 e if you add these two you will get zero additivity of charge additivity of charge means the net charge of this atom is zero which means it is a neutral neutral atom right now let's write your most familiar concepts each and every student knows of chemistry first year that is electronic configuration let me write 1s2 come on tell me 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s1 3s1 right am i right yes here this electron is called valence electron so only one electron third shell yes subshell electron one electron that is a valence electron free most free electron it is not free to move all around the space but it is bound to the nucleus bound to the nucleus very loosely bound compared to remaining 10 electrons these electrons relatively strongly bound compared to this with a supply of energy in any means suitable energy this electron can be easily transferred very easily is not with the case of protons protons are very tightly bound they are inside the nucleus very difficult to remove protons from the nucleus whereas electrons can be easily transferred from one atom to another the two valence electrons can be easily transferred right now what did we do in the last class see i did this simple experiment i took this plastic handle rubbed with this four what did you observe if i rub like this according to our theory why or how electrification takes place if i rub like this i am giving some energy to the electrons required energy absorbing that energy electrons jump from one material to another there are two here one plastic handle the other one four here if i rub like this one body gets one kind of charge the other another kind of charge can you identify charge yes if i hold this rubbed object near bits of paper they get attracted see here look they are getting attracted right according to benjamin's benjamin franklin's choice how did he choose the names of the charges he chose the charges name as positive and negative according to his convention the charge on plastic what did he do he chose charge names like this glass rubbed with silk glass rubbed with silk here charge on glass rod called positive and charge on silk negative similarly plastic rubbed with plastic rubbed with four their charge on plastic negative and on four positive that on four positive benjamin franklin's choice 
so according to this choice charge on this must be negative charge on this must be negative what about charge on this positive how did this plastic handle got negative charge the idea is very simple idea is very simple when you rub plastic handle with this four four atoms lost electrons their valence electrons which are absorbed by this plastic handle plastic handle collected the electrons lost by four so four acquired positive charge and plastic handle acquired negative charge that's it similarly when you rub the glass rod with the silk what did happen i explained in the last class when i rub this glass rod with silk glass rod acquired positive charge and silk negative charge how do you explain it again same story the atoms of glass lose their valence electrons which are collected by this silk yes therefore silk gets negative charge and plastic rod gets positive charge this is the reason that's all dear students now you are clear of one important thing how electrification takes place let me summarize my discussion listen me carefully be attentive now how electrification takes place every matter is made up of molecules which are made up of atoms atoms made up of three fundamental particles namely protons neutrons electrons protons are positively charged neutrons neutral ne electrons negatively charged protons neutrons are inside the nucleus nucleus as a whole is positive around which negatively charged electrons revolve in different orbits and distribution of electrons is explained in electronic configuration chemistry or learn very familiar that is for example sodium 11 there are 11 electrons means uh, electrically neutral 11 protons 11 electrons the electronic configuration 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s1 this last unpaired electron is valence electron which is loosely bound that's why with the supply of desired energy required energy you can transfer this electron from one atom to another that way we produce electrification remember students dear students electrification is due to loss or gain of electrons why electrification takes place due to loss or gain gain of electrons loss or gain of electrons this is how today's science explains the electrification process the substance which loses electrons as in the case of glass rod substance which loses electrons gets net positive charge glass rod positive the substance which gains electrons in the case of plastic the substance which gains electrons gets net negative charge therefore the charge is just imbalance of positive and negative charges namely protons and neutrons proton neutron number is same electrically neutral the proton number more positive proton number less negative which means electron number more that's it that's all about electrification dear students electrification is due to what loss or gain of electrons the two valence electrons of the atoms very important aspect of electrification right in this process remember all the three properties can be observed for example the glass rod lost electrons to silk silk absorbed collected those electrons before rubbing what is what was the charge on glass zero charge on silk zero after rubbing glass has lost some electrons gaining positive charge same number of electrons have been collected by silk therefore total negative charge equals total positive charge if you add them total charge zero before rubbing zero after rubbing zero that is also a property called law of conservation of charge net charge zero 
बिफोर एंड आफ्टर क्रिएशन और जनरेशन ऑफ चार्ज इन फैक्ट चार्ज कैन नीदर बी क्रिएटेड नॉर बी डिस्ट्रॉय बट इन सम प्रोसेस चार्ज कैन बी क्रिएटेड इवन इफ यू क्रिएट चार्जेस दे आर क्रिएटेड इन इक्वल अमाउंट ऑपोजिट इन नेचर द सोबेंग लॉ ऑफ कंजर्वेशन ऑफ चार्ज and during charging charging in the sense what if whenever i use the word charging you think electron transfer when electrons transferred from one atom to another electron transfer from one atom to another the transfer takes place in terms of integral number of electrons means one electron two electron three electron four electron like that electrons get transferred half of a electron not transferred one third of a electron not transferred that's what i mean by quantization all the three properties can be seen in the process of electrification very interesting and very important right friends now you observe two important things the electrification electrification is due to transfer of electrons and in the transfer of electron process all the three properties can be observed right here the method i used to produce electrification is rubbing when i rubbed plastic rod with fur the four lost electrons which are collected by plastic handle there are two charge nature one positive the other negative and that positive negative property of matter is called polarity very important word polarity you have heard of this word we have used several times innumerable times in lower standards polarity 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 refers to what positive and negative what's polarity polarity a property a property of charge property of charge charge which which differentiates 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 positive and negative charges positive and negative charges very important and interesting whenever you use the word polarity you think the charges positive and negative refers to polarity very important interesting right dear students you have learned these important aspects you just watch it again now you can read page 1 page 2 and page 3 of your ncert book and also our study material read them carefully watch this video again and get ready for next video thank you